YouTube, what's going on? I'm Adrian, back bringing you guys some more fresh content, and today's tutorial video is gonna be a Mad Weave Beard. This has been a video that's been highly requested. Um, there ha I haven't seen a lot of them on the internet. I think I may have only seen one or possibly two pictures on Instagram of people with Mad Weave Beards. I don't even know if I've seen two. I know I've seen one for sure. But yeah, so this is something new. I want to break down and show you guys and share this information, this uh, technique that I created on my own, just playing around in the shop. Um, now, if you watch my previous videos, you know that I'm always watching the video with you guys as we're going through it, coaching you guys, giving you the tips on what I'm doing. So all the products that I use in this video are going to be down in the description below, so you can check them out down there, and I'll include all the links as well. But let's not waste any more time with the intro. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Got my client in the chair. He's ready to go. As you can see, he got a little bit of facial hair, but it's nothing compared to this beard that I'm about to give him. Um, this boy's about to be looking like Ricky Rose hey, when he gets out the chair. Take my eyeliner pencil, and what I'm going to do is just use his natural um, facial hair uh, to create my guidelines. So on, on both sides of his face, you'll go ahead and, and, and make the lines that you want for your beard. And it doesn't have to be uh, this wide, it doesn't have to be this long of a beard, you can do whatever you want. You can follow these same steps, um, create your lines wherever you want your lines. And then when you go to cut it down, you can cut it down to whatever length you want it to be. So there I go, I'm just gonna make these lines. I'm gonna do it on both sides. Make sure it's even before I proceed. Um, if you watch my previous videos, I always say the lining is the most important part because if you get these lines crooked, then you go and place the hair. You can't move the hair once it's already on their head or on their face. So first thing you do, go through and you're gonna get these lines as perfect as you can get them. Get it as even as you can be. Yeah, this one right here, this was a fun unit to do. Um, this is it's probably like the most fun I had doing replacement units in a while, just because it's something different. Um, I haven't really done a lot of these beards yet. I haven't really promoted doing the beards, but I definitely want to get one out on video. Um, just to let people know that I can do them because it's not, like I said, there's a lot of people that ask about it, but there's not a lot of pictures and things out there like that. So people are kind of unsure about the beard thing. So after you get your lines down, just go ahead. Same process as if we're doing a, head, a hair replacement on their head, but you're gonna go ahead and shave it down bald. So just cut all his facial hair off. I'm gonna actually keep like his goatee because I'm gonna actually blend the hair that I put into the face into his goatee. This is always just a personal preference. If, if uh, you know your client prefers um, to cut their goatee off, you can go ahead and cut it off. You can keep it but you can see how he has like a couple little strands of gray. I'm gonna blend all that in, and this is, this is gonna look super natural. So with the goatee, I'm just gonna kinda line it up. I'm not gonna make a perfect line on it um, because it's just gonna all be blended in, but I'm just gonna line it up just a little bit and um, just get all that hair around it, get his face shaved all the way down. So now I'm gonna take my black uh, hair wraps. You, you've seen them on other videos. If you watch them, that I use these um, on the hair. It helps to make the it help, it helps to make the unit uh, moisture resistant. And I'm just gonna cut these hair wraps down small enough to fit on their face because I'm gonna use the track hair and I'm gonna put the track hair right on right on um, to the wrap. Do the same thing on the other side, take a wrap, <clears throat> uh, put it on, measure it, and just cut around. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. You just want it to be on there enough to where you can get a lot of the track hair. Um, you'll see around, I'm gonna use a different type of hair. Um, I'm gonna use the, actually use the, the Cuban twist to make like the, the outline. I'll blend it all in, you all see it here in just one second. But what I'm doing is, just, again, just taking the wrap, cutting it down to the size where it's gonna fit on this cheek. And now I'm gonna use my ghost, blonde, ghost bond. 
and I'm just gonna put the ghost bomb right where the rack is gonna be. And you can see I'm not gonna use a whole bunch of glue. Um, I'm not a big fan of putting a whole bunch of glue on people's faces. And so it also when you uh, do this, do the wrap like this, you, you can use less glue that's directly on their face compared to just you know smearing glue on their face and um, putting the hair right on top. And then the ghost bomb removes easily. If you use rubbing alcohol, you can throw some rubbing alcohol on it and it comes right off. It's gonna be a pain-free removal. Again, just uh, dotting some glue around, getting that wrap to lay down on there on his, plate, on his face flat. Now the beard unit, this lasts, I say anywhere from like two to four weeks, um, just because when you, depending on care, depending on care, just because when you sleep, you're more, you know, more likely gonna sleep on your, on your face, you're gonna sleep on your cheeks, and so the wear and tear on the unit is gonna be a lot more than compared to the unit on your head when you can kind of avoid, you know, laying your head face down on the pillow. So right here, I'm just gonna go in, I'm just gonna wipe away um, those lines a little bit just because I don't want them to show when I actually do put the hair on So I'm just gonna wipe it down just enough to where you can still see the line um, For when you put your glue on but again, like I said, you, you don't want to be able to see those lines If you leave them all the way white, they'll, they'll show through sometimes And now I'm just gonna take my ghost bond again and in, everywhere inside those lines um, That's where I'm gonna put the hair for the lineup. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, place glue Now the beard unit, I said it lasts about two to four weeks. Um, the price for this, I, I'd say, you could probably charge anybody uh, or people anywhere from, uh, I'd say 150 to 250. Depending on where you're at, you may be able to get more. So I'm just gonna take my dye brush and I'm just gonna spread that glue out, just like I do on their heads in the, in the uh, previous videos. Just uh, take that glue right up to the wrap. You don't have to worry about getting the, the glue on the wrap. If you do, it's fine. It's just gonna dry up. It's not gonna affect anything. But you, again, you don't have to put it on the wrap. And now on this top line, you're just gonna use that dye blows. And you can use electrical tape if you're not, if you're worried about get, not getting the line straight, you can use electrical tape and, uh, and make your line and then put the glue on and remove the tape. Or you can see with the dye brush, when I start using these, you really don't need the electrical tape. You can make pretty straight lines um, just with the brush itself. So here I got my Cuban twist hair. Uh, the link for this product is gonna be down in the description below so you can click that and you can go and buy it. Um, but this is the hair I use for the, uh, the hairline. So you see I'm gonna make an outline all the way around his face, everywhere where the black wrap isn't. Just gonna kinda pat it on, get it to adhere to that glue well. I'm gonna do the same thing right here on the top. Put another, pleat, another piece. And then just kind of pat it on. You don't want to push it super hard, but just kind of pat it on. Let that let that glue catch the hair and make sure you got a good tight hole. You see how I got it on both sides? And now underneath, I'm gonna put another, just a small piece of the black wrap. Now the ghost bond, when you put the ghost bond on the skin, it has a, it's a, a really good hold. Now, I put the black wraps down because I don't want to take a whole bunch of the black hair glue and put it on his face. You'll see I'll get a little bit on there. But the black hair glue, the, the life of the black hair glue is not as strong when it's directly on the skin. So it doesn't hold up to the moisture as well. So that's why I put the ghost bond and then I put the black wrap and then I put the hair on top of that. I put the black glue on top of the wrap and then I put the hair on over that. So right here, just doing some detail work. So however, however your client wants their beard, you just go through, you create all your lines, and uh, you, just, you just follow your lines. Okay, wipe those lines down a little bit. I just took the glue, I put the glue directly on my uh, dye brush, and I went in, I just uh, went in the shape that I drew that line. Now you see, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna place a lot of glue right here, 
it's just a, it's a really small area, so I'm gonna put glue right on the skin. Try to avoid the hair if you can. And then take another strip of the Cuban hair. And you're gonna lay the Cuban hair right down on top of this glue. And then that's, that's gonna give us our whole outline. Now, I always do the outline first. I don't jump in to, uh, you know, putting the track hair on right away. Do the whole outline first, and after the outline's done, then I can go in, put my black hair glue, and uh, <clears throat> lay my track hair. Now, with this track hair, I'm not, I'm not gonna lay it on the tracks. I'm actually gonna cut it off the track. It's the Milky Way Q Twirl. You, uh, if you see my previous videos, it's the same one I use in there, and the link for that product's in the description below. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it out of the box. I'm gonna leave it bundled up, tied up, and then I'm gonna comb it out. And after I comb it out, then I'll go and I'll cut it off the bundle and I'll place it on his face. If that was confusing and you don't have a clue, go back and watch um, the video I just posted last week. Um, which one was it? The, uh, this is the short, the Afro unit um, transformation. I'll, uh, I'll put a card for that video right here so you can click it and that will show you exactly how to comb the hair out and how to cut it and place it. So yeah, my Afro Man Weave tutorial, that one, like I said, there's a card in this video right here for it and you can go ahead and uh, click that and you'll learn exactly how to, how to cut the hair and prep the hair for this unit. So right now I'm just taking my black hair glue, putting it all over the wrap. You can see down where I, the wrap kind of splits right here. I'm just gonna throw a little back black hair glue there as well. It's not gonna hurt them, but you don't wanna put 100% black hair glue on the skin and then the, then the, uh, the hair, it's not gonna last long. So let's take your blow dryer. The blow dryer just helps to speed up the process a little bit. See, I have my track hair here. I'm gonna actually split it in half. It only takes one bundle. For this client, it only took one bundle of hair. Um, depending on head size, could take more, could take less. But yeah, one bundle of hair split it in half. You see, I, it doesn't have the tracks on it. I cut it off the tracks. And just make comb it out into an afro, cut it off the tracks. And I'm just gonna place it on his on his face, right in right in the glue. So the bottom of that hair went right in that glue. And I'm making sure that all that hair is inside the hairline. And you're even kind of tucking uh, those hairs like under under the hairline hair that you place first. So yeah, you get that on there, pat it a little bit, make sure it's uh, adhered to the glue well, take your blow dryer and dry it a little bit, put a little bit of pressure. You can see I'm, I'm actually pushing the blow dryer into the hair just to get it to stick well. And then when, when you get done drying it, you should be able to pull the hair out and no hair, I mean, you right away you'll get some hair that comes out, but you should be able to pull it and eventually you won't have hair just coming out. It'd be stuck like it's really stuck to their face. I'm doing the same exact thing here on the other side, putting the black glue all over the black wrap. Then I'm gonna take the other half of that hair. This is probably a little bit less than half of that hair. I took another chunk out, but this, this unit took exactly one bundle of hair of the Milky Way Q Twirl to, to finish this unit. So I actually split that a third time, just because at first I didn't think I was gonna use it all, but you see that one patch right there. I just took the excess and I, I placed it in the gap. And here's the excess of that bundle right here. And you see, I'm just placing it inside that hairline. Take my blow dryer, blow it, pat the hair down, make sure it uh, gets into the glue, it adheres to the glue. And again, when you pull it, you shouldn't be having a whole bunch of hair right away. You'll have some hair that comes off because there's going to be some hair that doesn't get in that glue. But when you're pulling that off, a whole bunch of that hair should not be coming off. It should be on there like it's real hair at this point. And now I've got my Andes BGRC with my OA blade on there. Um, my OA blade is my favorite blade to trim hair down with, uh, real or fake, doesn't really matter. I just feel like it uh, shapes up hair better. 
And now I'm just gonna go in, at this point, you create your client's beard to be whatever length you want it to be or they want it to be, um, and kind of cut it down to the style that, that they prefer. So me, I'm gonna leave this beard actually pretty thick, you know, and uh, so I'm not, I mean, I'm gonna cut off a good amount of this hair, probably about half of it. And the direction that you cut it really doesn't matter too much. I'm just gonna cut it down and blend that hairline hair into the Milky Way Q twirl hair that I placed in the middle. So you can see it's starting to come, come together a little bit. Um, you see his natural goatee with a couple little gray strands that I blended in there. And that just all gives it more of a natural look. I'm trying to think of other questions people ask in all these hair replacement videos. I can't think of any real off the top of my head. I know like the number one question is how much does it cost? Um, number two question is probably how long does it last? And another the other biggest question is probably where am I located? So I'm located in Rochester, Minnesota, but <clears throat> this unit here, I'd say probably $150, $200. If you're in a bigger city in New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, something like that. You might be able to get 250, 300 for one of these units. Um, it really just depends on your area. And also how good you are and you know how, how in demand you are, you know, kind of set your prices. Right here, I got my magic clip. Just kind of going in, uh, doing a little detail work, cleaning it up a little bit. Like I said, I like to use the OA on the uh, BGRCs to do a lot, cut a lot of the bulk. Um, I do a little bit of shaping up with them as well. But once it gets down to the, uh, to this point, to where I feel like I like the length, I'll go in with my uh, my magic clips and do some uh, detailing work. Now after you get it down to the length you want it, you have uh, I'll take my my uh, wall detailers. You can use any other trimmer that you prefer, and you can go ahead and and line the beard up just like you would in a normal beard. So you can see after I cut it down, start lining it up, the beard's really starting to come together. I mean, at this point, it's just, you know, use the skills that you already know as a barber or a hairstylist um, after the hair's on the face. And you just, you, it's from here on out, it's just a real beard. You, you put the hair on already. You did the, the man weave part of it. Now, um, the rest of it is, you know, just lining it up, shaping it up, um, you know, and giving the client what they want. I always like to tell people as well, don't use your best clippers when you're working with the synthetic hair. When you're working with real human hair, you can use your best clippers, clippers that you use on your everyday cut. But when you're working with the synthetic hair, it's hard on your blades, um, you know, wears them down, makes them dull. And so I always suggest to people, either go buy yourself some clippers that you're gonna use just for synthetic hair, or else, uh, you know, use some old clippers or something like that. But don't, don't use your best, your everyday clippers when you're doing the man weaves yeah, on, on the synthetic hair. When you're using like the lace units and things like that, or if you go to your beauty supply store and you can find human hair, then you know you can use whatever clipper you prefer. So I'm just gonna take my shears, go in. I'm just doing a little cleanup work now. Um, you know, making sure that, making sure the beard looks as natural as possible. Going to the goatee area, clean that up a little bit. Again, this is like, like I said, I had a I had a lot of fun shooting this video, uh, installing this unit, just because it's really it's something different. Um, you know, it's something that's not super popular right now, but I think as you know, as men are starting to, uh, you know, accept the man weave on the head, I think the beard is a whole other thing that, you know, people are gonna have to come around and, and start to accept a little bit more. So, you know, once more people start to accept people getting man weaves, um, you know, wearing them on their hair, on their, on their head, then I think the beards will follow after that. But um, you can see the beards look, 
look very, very natural. This is just one technique of the beards that I'm gonna show you, but I have I have some other techniques that I'm gonna show you as well. I'm gonna show you how to do smaller beards, um, all different types of things, all different types of facial hair. And so, again, you know, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to my channel. I got a ton more content um, to bring out to you guys, but that's about, that's about it for this video. This video is about to close here soon. Um, got about a minute left. And you see, I'm just, just doing detail work right now. Just going in, knocking out, um, you know, any, any little spots I see that need to be knocked out. So yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, like it, um, leave me comments if you guys got questions. Um, here's the before and after shots. And that's all it is to it, man. So go ahead, find you guys some models, try this out, man. Send me some pictures on Instagram. Um, let me know how it worked for you. But that's all I got. This has been Adrian the Barber, and I'm out.